Hi all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I just wanted to touch base with the Idiot Proof Reef Tank to let you know I haven't forgotten about it. All right, so a little while ago with the uh, Idiot Proof Reef Tank, we got to the point where we added rock or sand, rock and water to the tank, added a heater, we've got a pump in there, we've got a light on it, it's all happening. And the next logical step is to cycle that tank. Now, in full disclosure, I've been waiting for a new product to come out here in Australia because it's gonna be the most idiot proof way to cycle a tank. And to be honest, cycling a tank's probably the biggest hurdle for uh, new people getting into the hobby. It's really confusing. People start talking ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, converting from one to the other, bacterias, um, phantom feeding, all these terminologies that uh, just absolutely confuse people. So I wanted to get this absolute idiot proof system available, get it in my hands. I wanted to make sure it was gonna work, right? I don't just wanna blindly try something. So basically we're at the point now where I have that product and I'm ready to use it, but I wanted to give you a video on what's been happening anyway, because the tank's been wet for three and a half, four weeks now. And I just wanted to show you what I've been doing with it, because it's not fair if um, you don't see what's happening. So basically the tank has, um, it had brand new sand and brand new artificial rock in it. Now, both of these products are known to contain and leach in the early phases a fair amount of silicate. Silicates are pretty handy at growing algae. And as the tank's been sitting there with a the light on full intensity, no water changes whatsoever. The original tank I put, the original water I put in the tank is what's still in there now. And we had a little bit of an algae bloom. Pretty standard, but I didn't want to hide it from you guys because the ugly phases of these uh, new tanks are something that happens to everyone, or they should in my opinion anyway. And Swipping it under the rug doesn't help anyone. I wanted to show you guys the ugly phase of this tank and I also wanted to show you a couple of little things I did. So um, let's roll the footage and get into it. Okay, so one other thing I also forgot to mention and it's really important and in fact is the topic of this video really was to create just a little bit of extra uh, biological filtration. Um, the artificial rock we used whilst is uh, pretty appealing uh, to the eye, very aesthetically uh, good looking. Um, and is easy to work with, comes with no nasty critters. It's also not the most uh, bacteria rich environment. So I've got these uh, max spec uh, ceramic balls here that I've had just an excess amount in my, um, in my main display. So rather than buy some new ones, I just thought I'd use these ones. And you can see one thing I will point out here is um, just how much detritus they collect. These were in a bag in my sump and um, you can see how filthy they were. So I came across this nifty little tip and a big shout out to Stephen Burford who works at Salty Pets Australia. He had this really nifty idea and whilst um, people had a bit of a laugh because it looked like a uh, fairly erotic kind of toy um, of uh, hanging these uh, bio balls on like a uh, zip tie and uh, it's just a really neat way of making it easy to remove them, keeping them off the bottom of the, um, whether it be the, a sump or a filtration section, basically making a little, almost a necklace for um, these ceramic balls to hang from. And I thought it was a brilliant idea. So I grabbed these balls out of my main tank and um, I gave them a good rinse to make sure I got rid of all of the detritus, as you can see. And then I started loading up a few. So we're gonna make this um, necklace and then we're gonna fit that up to the tank. All right, this is one of the very few times in my life that you're ever gonna see me modeling a necklace, but uh, there it is. It's the uh, Max Spectre Biosphere or Nano Biosphere uh, necklace. And I've just hung that on the uh, light bracket at the back here. So you can see it's really easy to remove, keeps it off the base of the um, filtration section. I'll be able to take that out and give that bit of a rinse um, any stage. So that's a really cool little tip. Um, still gives us heaps of room to use that back section and a really big shout out to Stephen for coming up with such a cool idea. Thumbs up for that. Now, let's have a quick look at this tank while it's just been cycling away. You can see the uh, hair algae is uh, taken off. It's just chewing up all those silicates. And before I started the cycle, and like I said, I am killing a little bit of time while I wait for this uh, brand new uh, idiot proof uh, tank cycling method, I thought I should uh, give the tank a little bit of a clean and give it a fresh start of water so we get rid of as many of these silicates as possible. So Basically, um, I'm just going to do a quick siphon, a water change and siphon out as much of this algae as I can. I'll give the glass a quick clean as well, just to get it looking as fresh as we can. And then um, the next episode, which will be really soon, because like I did mention, I do now have the bacterial products. 
um, we'll be able to do this uh, tank cycle and really get this idiot proof tank cranking along. So you can see here, just a couple of quick tips. I've uh, turned off the heater and I've also turned off the return pump. Now I'm just siphoning out, doing a bit of a water change. I'm not trying to get any sand here, just pulling the um, algae, which was fairly easy to take off the sand actually. You can see there, it's about a 40% water change I've done. And I'm just gonna pop some uh, new salt water in, the same water we used before. Uh, just topping it off. I haven't brought it up to temperature because I'm not concerned there's no livestock in the tank at this stage. Um, <laughs> see, I'm making some silly faces to kill some time. Um, yeah, there's no livestock. There's not even really any live bacteria in the tank, so I'm not too worried about uh, keeping the temperatures the same or anything like that. And uh, we'll just have a bit of a close-up look at the tank now. You can see it's still not perfect. I haven't gone to the bother of um, scrubbing the algae off the rocks because soon we'll have some bacteria. And even shortly after that, we'll have some cleanup crew, which will make light work of that. But um, I will just point out that Waze glass cleaner. Um, I picked that up a long time ago now, and it's an absolute killer for little nano tanks like this. So, oh, and there's a little bit of a leak of the uh, bacterial products we'll be using in the next episode. So uh, if you want to see an idiot-proof uh, tank cycle, be sure to stay tuned because we've got the aquarium system start your tank program starting soon. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I know it's a small one and doesn't cover a lot of topics, but uh, having somewhere for bacteria to host is super important. And um, I also just wanted to show you how the tank went through a little bit of an ugly phase before we even did the cycle. I recognize you're probably not going to have a tank wet for three or four weeks before you even start your cycle, but... That's the way these things ended up and um, it's probably not a completely um, heard of scenario. So the best thing I could do is be transparent with you and show you where you're at. But now I do have the aquarium system start your tank project or program I should say um, in my hands and I'm super keen to get started on this. So I will be kicking this off now. I wanna get a couple of weeks into advance before I release the video on it. So you're not uh, watching what I do on day one and then waiting uh, another week before you see what I do on day eight. But uh, this is a real nifty little program from the uh, guys in Aquarium Systems that's been developed in assistance with Dr. Tim's. And thankfully, it works out really neatly with this system because this, this program here is designed for tanks of 75 liters in volume, which is about exactly what our tank is holding. So sometimes the planets align and um, you get lucky. So um, if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, pop them in the comment section down below. And if you're super keen to see how the Aquarium System uh, Start Your Tank program works out, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Till next time guys, thanks for watching. Happy reefing.